Hello all you beautiful people, how are you doing today? This is Lava Tim Tristan, welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, welcome, hi! Today we're going to play some more Fallout 4 and we're still inside the Institute. Yeah. So uh, we have to go meet all the leaders. We were kind of looking around at everything last time. So we didn't have enough time. So we're going to finish and go meet all the different leaders today. Almost done. Just need to tighten up this primary drive servo. That's the third primary drive breakdown this month. As far as I'm concerned, the phase out on these older models can't come soon enough. Oh, I don't know. Most of them have lasted long past their projected lifespans. If you ask me, they were built pretty well. Huh. I can't argue with that. Even so, I'm ready to see the full Gen 3 roll out. There we go. All set. Unit, you can return to duty. Thank you, ma'am. Thanks again. Of course. Good to see you. Excuse me, doctor. They weren't so, kidding. You really are here. Well, all right. Ali Fillmore. I'm okay. Ali Fillmore. You can think of me as the Institute's chief engineer. When Father told us about you, I could hardly believe it. You've been through so much, I think most people would have just given up. If you don't mind my asking, what was it that kept you going all that time? Um, find my I son. I just wanted to find my son and keep him safe. Now that you've found him, I hope you're proud of the great man he grew up to be. Now, I'll give you a quick rundown of the facilities division, and then I'll answer any questions you might have afterward. As you might guess, we keep the Institute's mechanical and electrical systems running smoothly. We maintain and upgrade all of the systems that make it possible to live and work in a place like this. There's a lot of machinery behind these walls that recycles the air and water and provides power to the laboratories and quarters. The work we do might not be as exciting as some of the other departments, but it's at least as important. So, now that you're here and you've spoken to Father, does that mean you're on board? Um... Just I'm looking. just looking around. I see. Well, please do mind what you touch. Sensitive equipment here. Not like topside. If there's anything else you'd like to know about the facilities division, I'm happy to discuss it. Uh, who built who all built this? this place originally? Has it been here long? The construction of the Institute is the work of generations of scientists. The original survivors of the war, our progenitors, took refuge in the basement of the old Commonwealth Institute of Technology. Over time, their sons and daughters dug deeper into the earth and built increasingly sophisticated habitats and laboratories. It's a process that's still going on today. Even now, we're digging out tunnels hmm. for new facilities and infrastructure. Just think what this place will look like a hundred years from now. I hope I'm there to see it. Well, you're only going to answer one question? Dr. Fillmore. Hey, what do you need? Um... Power it needs. must be a challenge to meet the power demands of a place like this. Absolutely. Yeah. We scratch and scrape for every precious ounce of voltage that we can. Over the years, we've learned a few tricks that help supplement our power budget. When necessary, we can tap into select sources on the surface. We take only what we need, of course. Fortunately, Advanced Systems is always working on new solutions to generate more energy. It's a good thing, too, because the demand is always increasing. <laughs> You don't even want to know what a single use of the molecular dematerializer consumes. Oh, wow. Hey, uh, I'm not done with hey, you. What do you need? Uh, division I'd like person. to know about the people in your division. Of course. Dr. Lawrence Higgs is our mechanical engineer. He oversees the major life support and security systems. Power distribution is Dr. Evan Watson's area of expertise, and Dr. Newton Oberly is in charge of food and housing. He coordinates with bioscience to ensure that our meals are balanced for optimal nutrition. We also make use of a number of synth units for low priority maintenance and labor. Wait, wait, I didn't say I was done with you. Dr. Fillmore. What's on your mind? Uh, oh, okay. I'm good, good for now. Thanks. Goodbye, then. So, I don't understand. They have all this water running through. Why don't they use hydropower? Wouldn't that make sense? I mean, hello. I mean, look at it. They have all these waterfalls. It's pretty and all, but why not use it to create some hydropower, too? It wouldn't... Like, it doesn't use the water. It just used the w motion of the water. I don't know. 
My question is too, if there's actual humans, male and female here, why are we not trying to create humans? You know, Petri dish, get some eggs from a female, you know, do whatever you have to, or do it the, you know, the natural way. Mm, that one's hidden. Mm. All right, um, let's see. Let's go to robotics. Remember to keep unnecessary power consumption to a minimum. Don't recharge unless your primary levels are below 2%. Also, if you haven't patched your navigation software, do so after this meeting. The last thing we need is more synths bumping into walls. All right, that's all for now. You it looks so weird. All maintenance requests should be directed to the facilities division. I Our apologize for any disruptions that my work might year. cause you. Doctor? It's a real juggling act, trying to keep all the systems down here operating in the green. This place might look shiny and new, but there's a lot of old technology in these walls. I well, lose yeah. sleep worrying about when the next blackout's gonna hit. Uh, how old? How old are we talking about? Well, the reactor and a lot of the related systems, you know, cooling, monitoring, power distribution, that's all pre-war tech. Most of the superstructure down here was built later, by the people who survived the war. I guess each generation's been tinkering with the place, adding labs, making upgrades, and so on. Now that there's some stuff I need to check on. See you around, yeah? Dr. Thompson. You know, I love my work, but I love being a father even more. Oh, so are you? The best part of my day is coming home to my girls. Okay, so maybe they are being smart and having children. And uh, Rico. You're not gonna answer any- and Two more start to fail. Okay, fine. I guess I have no more board. questions for you because you're not answering them. Whatever! Alright, where are we going now? Guess we're going to bioscience. I mean, the fact that they have trees growing for oxygen and stuff, pretty smart. Security check. See anything suspicious lately? Suspicious? What do you mean by suspicious? I mean, like dodging my questions. No, nothing to report, sir. If I see something, I'll be sure to come right to you. You do that. I hate to find your name on a repurpose list. Where are they talking? Are they talking in here? Oh. We're actually going in here. Ooh. Hmm. I know I'm going the long way. Or well, okay, maybe I can't even go this way. time to examine my latest reports on batch 274 not yet i've been reviewing father's plans to expand our operations at war i'm taking all these going. in case i need so them I've had to put everything else to one side i wonder how the warwick family is doing if i have access to everything why am i breaking into here Young got it be close to 10 years old by now it's remarkable that any child can survive for so long out there don't you think i i try not to think too much about it I'm taking some of the stuff. I don't know if I'll be able to use it, but those people are the last remnants of a dying past. It's best not to dwell on the subject. They're still people and they're suffering. We can at least admit that it's regrettable. After all, how can we hope to redefine mankind if we can't even hold on to our own humanity? Well, right? that's a question best left to our colleagues in the robotics division. Yes, well. So close. Got it. That 
is it? Oh, where's this? What did I unlock myself into? Oh. What the hell is up with this? Why was this shut down? Okay, we gotta watch it. Apparently there's lots of traps here. Scanners detecting sentient life. Alert level elevated. Mm. Webs. Oh, come on. Sweet. Scanners clear. What did I just do? Oh, I closed the doors. Uh, I don't know if I wanted to do that. Seriously, what the hell happened in here? Of course I'm gonna take some fusion cells. Thank you! Oh shit! Standing down. And where's Ada? Oh, shit! I didn't see that happening. Oh, oh, shit. I almost walked into that again. Good thing it saved it when we walked in here, huh? Oh, shit. Where did it notice us, by the way? Here? I don't see anything we can discern. Ah, I gotta unlock it all again? Oh. Who wants to do that? That's it. Alright, let's turn my light back on because... What? Alright, we're not going to take any of that. We'll take this, though. Alright, so... Why did Ada not come with me? Can she not... Oh, because I teleported, maybe? Alright, hold on. Let's get out. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Let's get now an actual weapon. Uh, what do I want? I don't know. I haven't used guns in quite a while. Uh, let's do a mini gun. Okay, that one's almost dead. We gotta let this cool down. Let me save real quick. Oh, it's still hot. Hold on. Hold up, wait a minute. There we go. Alright. Resetting threat level. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Yeah, there's that. 
Um, okay, so let's put... Let's put this on a favorite slot. Let's do... There we go. Alright, so... What do I have? Uh, super sledge. Do I have it on... Mm, I just passed it. I do have it on favorites, so what's it on favorites as? Shish kebab. Super Sledge is... what is that? Six. Alright. Whoops. Sugar bombs! Seriously, what the hell's down here? Should I even be down here? Probably not. get some some unlocks reset something I don't see any obvious oh right there tries reset okay so sweet Lord. turret control let's turn that shit off deactivate Wait, wait, wait. What was the other thing? Your mount? Door control. Thank you. Open door. Oh, damn. Ooh. I gotta pick up all of this shit. So, why did they abandon this? What happened? I hear something walking around over there. Paint, which means I'll have oil. Surprise contact. Engaging. <laughs> Running close quarters subroutine. Oh, shit. <laughs> I wouldn't have spammed that healing. Woohoo! I would have died. Where did her body go? There it is. Oh. That was a close one. I don't know if I should be down here yet. Maybe I should just go meet all the leaders first. Yeah, why don't we come back to here? I have a feeling we're going to need to do this later. And we already have it unlocked, so it'll be pretty easy to come back to it. I mean, not that I can't do it, but I'm trying to stick to a certain quest. So let's go meet the leaders first. So let's put that away. All right. Um, I think I was going down this way. This way. Oh, hello. It's food. I mean, they got a good system going on there. See, I wonder what these applicators are for, and I wonder if we're going to use them for something. That's why I'm picking up all this. Because I wonder if we're going to use some of this stuff. Ooh, 
we can actually read the terminal. Uh, phase two development. Initial thoughts. Want to create? We've engineered creatures that inhabit the sky and the land. The next logical step is a creature of the sea. The greatest challenge remains data collection. Accurate measurements, behavioral data, life cycle, habitat, etc. Might Nahant have something useful? Note to self. Request that we allocate a scavenger team to that area. Hmm. So what aquatic creatures makes a good candidate? Start with size. Nothing too large, nothing too small. Most promising candidates, gen genuous dolphinus, genuous, uh, yeah. One size habitat, one on-site habitat will be a logistical challenge. Expansion of bioscience likely necessary, including a large water tank. Many logistical challenges to implement. Facilities division likely to oppose this. Have to pitch this as the first step in a breeder plan. Broader plan, excuse me. What else can go in an aquatic habitat? Can we grow food there? What other experiments could we do? Could we develop underwater synth models? To carry out seabed salvage operations. Probably far-fetched. Need to work on this more. We'll table this during for the time being. Focus on other priorities until I can come up with more reasons that will benefit from the aquatic habitat. Can still gather data in the meantime. Warwick Homestead Institute. Mission Statement. Warwick Homestead Institute. An initiative was conceived to facilitate field testing of various genetically modified specimens and the unique climate of the Commonwealth. It is hopeful that we gain insight into these effects of tr trace radiation on the growth and developments of said specimens. We of the Bioscience Division are in full agreement on the following hypothesis. Subjected to the proper levels of ambient radiation and soil pH, such as those found in the exceptionally fertile soil at Warwick Homestead. Our modified seed specimens are likely to exhibit accelerated growth rate and twofold increase in size. Size. Excuse me. Project implementation. Stage one. Using genetic manipulation, we will develop a unique breed of, yeah, with similar characteristics to those commonly farmed in the Commonwealth. Stage two. Acquire Roger Warwick. Patriarch of Warwick Homestead and conduct a series of intensive interrogation sessions to learn all we can about his life and family. Stage 3. With the intelligence gathered in Stage 2, create a synth re replica of Roger Warwick and embed the unit on site at Warwick Homestead to oversee the operations directly. SRB will handle logistics of the aspect of the initiative. Stage 4. Begin co covert deliveries of prototype seed batches for planting. Stage 5. Collect observ observational data from embedded unit. And Stage 6. When sufficient data has been collected, retrieve synth unit and specimens for lab study. Purge all surface evidence of the initiative. Wow. Status reports. Uh. Batch destroyed in tan um do we need to read all these? I don't think so. Okay, you can't click on them anyway. Alright. Uh behavior anomaly report. Director Holdren, we're here are the details you requested reason the gorilla behavioral anomalies. A total of 16 incidents of heightened aggression has been documented. Bioscience personnel who witnessed these events, myself included, would categorize the level of aggression displayed as extreme and dangerous. In all, six synth handlers have been destroyed by guerrilla attacks. As for what triggers these behavioral changes, I speculate that it's a reaction to perceived conflict. Several attacks followed heated arguments that took place when in earshot of the pin. Another occurred soon after the recent SRB security sweep. It seems clear there is a fault in the behavioral model. I doubt it can be corrected. I know you're against it, but I think we have to consider destroying them. Failing that, I recommend that all contact with the gorillas be limited to synth units only. Biosense personnel should not be permitted to come into contact. The risk is simply too great. Carlin. Hmm. And access logs. So it just shows us who accessed everything. All right. Hmm. Very, very interesting. All right, we're finally getting to where we need to be. I mean, they are growing quite a bit of food here. It's kind of nice. 
Oh, the gorillas. Dr. Holdren's synth gorilla project is showing promising results. I mean, if they started... Are they actual gorillas? Or are they synth gorillas? I think they're actual gorillas. I mean, that is pretty cool, and they're not radiated, doesn't look like, so... Interesting. All right, Clayton Holdren. The latest synth generation is just amazing. Those guys in robotics are working miracles. It's hard to stand out when you're surrounded by geniuses. Wait, you didn't talk to me. Doctor? Uh, wh why are Welcome. you not talking so to me? So good to have you here. Dr. Okay, Clayton thank you. Holdren, head of the bioscience division. I can't wait for you to see the work we're doing. It's truly amazing. Uh, what work? Like what? I was just about to explain that. As the name implies, the bioscience division specializes in fields of study such as botany, genetics, and medicine. Our most important directive is to ensure the health and well-being of everyone in the institute. To that end, we cultivate highly specialized breeds of flora for use in food and medicine. We've even started to explore the idea of synthetic animal life. You probably saw the gorillas. They're really just a pet project at this point, but the potential is exciting nonetheless. So they're not real? Yeah, the that's what I'm saying. Too? They are indeed. Wow. Judging by your reaction, we've done a good job making them seem lifelike. The initiative is still I in did its not early know stages, that. but the prospects are very exciting. I'm sure I've taken up enough of your time as it is, but I have to ask, have you decided whether you'll join us? Uh, not sure I'm not yet. sure. Uh, right now I'm just trying to keep an open mind. It's a big decision, I know. But it's also a rare and important opportunity. No need to rush to judgment. In any case, I imagine you'll want to continue looking around. Or, if you prefer, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. Um, medical you care. You mentioned medical care? I might need that from time to time. In that case, you'll want to introduce yourself to Dr. Dean Volkert. He's our top biologist and also serves as the Institute's resident physician. Dr. Volkert works in the infirmary. Just pay him a visit whenever you need to. You won't find better medical care anywhere else in the Commonwealth. I'll promise you that. Okay. Clayton. Good to see you again. Did you need something? I didn't go anywhere, but okay. Uh, synth Tell gorillas. Tell me more about those synth gorillas. On yeah. the whole, I'd say they were a success. Their behavior does generally match what our historical data says it should be. Unfortunately, we had a few early setbacks. The creatures can become suddenly aggressive, and they're quite strong. They destroyed two of their synth handlers. So now we keep them in an isolated habitat where they can be safely observed. Hmm. Okay. Everyone's excited about the new Please synth project. Please resist any urge you might feel to eat the specimens in the hydroponic garden. Really? I wasn't... I wasn't even gonna try to eat them, but thanks. Oh. Okay. What is this for? Okay, that's kind of weird. What, they just don't use this anymore? Hmm. Everything else is all nice and new and shiny and that's just nothing. All right, so we still have, what, two more leaders to meet? Um, let's see. It doesn't say. I think we still have two more leaders we have to meet, but we're almost out of time. So let's try to get back to the middle so we can go meet the other ones. And then we're going to have to remember where this is so we can come back and... I have a feeling there's going to be a quest or something there. Well, we're on the right track because it's the door we came in. Yeah. Back to the Institute. Apparently it's not going to load in as fast as it did before. Never mind. I stand corrected.
Why are there guys walking around with guns? And I thought all the surface people look like monsters, but you seem pretty normal. Oh, uh, that's one of her his girls. Huh. Interesting. All right, we will have to meet everybody else later. We haven't been into the medical and let's see what else we have to go into medical and oh the, this time one here i guess and oh did we already go Good maybe to see food you. i don't know i don't know but we'll figure out next time i'm gonna save it here uh if you are enjoying don't forget to hit the subscribe button with the notification bell so you can see when all the new videos come out and of course if you enjoy the videos a thumbs up would very much be appreciated. Hit, you know, hit the like button. Smash it. Whatever you want to do. It also lets me know that you guys are appreciating the content. So thank you. I appreciate you guys as always. Until next time, this is Lava Temptress. Don't get burned. Bye. The rest see me as little more than a...